Hi. So, you know, in my previous lesson, uh, we started building the game Mole Mash, and we made it so every one, or actually every one half second, every time the timer goes off, we move the mole to a random place on the canvas. And that's what we got going right now. Okay. In this lesson, what I'll show you is let's 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 let the user try to touch the mole, and when he does, let's give him a point and let's show him the score. Okay, so let's keep score of how many times the player can touch that mole. So first thing I'm going to do, I want to make this canvas uh, so we can see it. So let's just choose. I don't know, is green a good color? Yeah, it's pretty bright, but well, let's try let's try gray. Okay, I don't know if that's any better, but we'll we'll start with that. Okay, and what I want to do is I'm going to add a score here down below the canvas, and that score is going to be a label because it's going to be some text, and that text will start off as zero. Okay, and I'm going to rename that label as the score label. Okay, and then I'm going to add another label, and this one's going to be just kind of just text, and it's going to it's going to kind of just label the score. So let me add a horizontal arrangement so we can make these guys go next to each other. But I'll throw that that one's just purely for make things look good, and this zero is the number that's going to change. So label one is truly just a kind of a label. And score label is some text, and which has a number in it that we're going to change every time the user touches that mole. All right, so I think we're ready to do the behavior for this app. And I'm going to come over to the behavior editor. We already know what happens on a timer, but what we got to find now is when someone touches the sprite, what should happen? And sprites have a nice function called touched. Okay. And when they touch that sprite, so when they touch that mole, and if you're using an emulator, it's you got to click it. I don't know if I can even touch it. What we want to happen is you touch him, and his score gets one bigger. Okay, well, let's see. Let's first just do something a little bit simpler. Let's see if we can just change the score label when we change it. So I'm going to grab score label.txt, and I'm going to grab a um, number. Actually, I'll have to grab a text block, and I'm just going to put a 1 in there. So when I touch the mole, the text score label should change to 1. So it's, it's 0 to start. If I could touch that guy, it should go to 1. Now to test this, I'm going to go back over to our clock. I'm going to slow that guy down, so I'm going to make him change. I'm pretty slow. I'm going to make him change every 2 seconds. So I know I can touch him now. And notice I clicked him and the score changed to 1. The problem is, of course, if I click him again, the score stays at 1. Because really, my reaction to touching the sprite is to change it to 1. So I don't really want to change it to 1. I want to change it to 1 more than what's there. Okay, and this is, you know, we want to increment the score. And the way you do that is you grab a plus operation. And really, what you want to change score label's text property to is you want to change it to what it was plus one. Okay, so I want to add one to whatever it is and stick it back into the score label. So you kind of you know what the app does is actually uh, you know does this almost right to left. So it first says What's in the score label dot text? Well, it's one or zero. Let's say it's one, then it should take that one, add one to it, which is two, and that's what gets put in or set in to the text. So let's see if this works. So it's set to one now, and I'm clicking it, and every time I click it, it goes up. Okay, this is this is exactly the kind of the behavior I want. I've now incremented the score every time the mole is touched. 